even though the hidden 50 you have in your wallet. No. Oh, it's 100? No. 220? No. <laughs> you get in the door okay without breaking an ankle? No. They, 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 they strapped me in after I got there. <laughs> Alpha Antennas was there showing off their full line of antennas. There was quite a bit of used equipment for sale, and this particular gentleman had quite the selection. I'm Monty Ross with Macros Embroidery. I'm out of Warrensburg, Missouri. Uh, we do on-site embroidery work, and uh, we're kind of downsized today, but uh, we can put uh, embroidery on about anything you want. So if we can hoop it, we can embroider it. What's going on over here? Looks like a riot. Well, we're uh, we're selling uh, items for our club, uh, the Association of Saints Church Radio Amateurs. A lot of things that were donated to us over the years, and uh, trying to clear out some space and hope to get some new rigs, maybe some Icom rigs or something. Yeah, what we're excited about at, at the uh, WZSHQ station at the uh, uh, Community of Christ uh, International Headquarters is our new uh, uh, Echo Link node that we've been working on for some time. It's now uh, working a little better. We're st We've got to do some improvements on the 1373 repeater at fire station number one. Uh, we also have our uh, remote base installed, and we're working the kinks out of that. So we're hoping that uh, our ASCRA members, about 250 around the planet, will be able to start uh, using our home station when we don't have uh, operators available to operate it. And uh, have that, especially our overseas folks, can get on and uh, start working the station from uh, wherever they may be. We do have some in Australia, in England, in uh, France, occasionally down in uh, South America. What, what club are you with? This is the Association of Saints Church Radio Amateurs. It's affiliated with the Community of Christ headquarters in Independence, Missouri. We've been on the air. We put our 73 repeater on the air back in the early 70s. It's about third or fourth uh, two-meter repeater in the city. A special award presentation was held during the ham fest with both Randy KD0HKD and Larry W0AIB on hand to make the presentation. Norma Libby W0KC was presented a special Larry Award for her many years as a volunteer exam coordinator. According to Tracy Dye, the VEC manager at the W5YI organization, as of July 2014, Norma had participated in 256 licensed examination sessions, with 84 of those sessions where she was a coordinating volunteer examiner. During these 84 testing sessions where Norma was the coordinating examiner, over 251 individuals had passed their tests, thus achieving their licensing goals. Thank you, everyone. Is that a uh, surprise? That, uh, yes. I've been a nervous wreck about this. For, well, Larry called me a couple of weeks ago, and he says, uh, there's only two people right now that know something. He says, but I want Ted, Ted to call me. And he says, He's, you're not going to know anything about anything. Okay, then in a week's time, well, he, Ted calls him, and Ted tells him, to comes out, and I said, okay, what did Larry say? Thinking Ted would tell me. Oh, Ted says to me, he says, this is not for you to know. It's not any of your business. And he says, you're going to the Raytown Ham Fest. I said, Raytown doesn't even like me. I said, so I can't go to the Raytown Ham Fest. He says, if I have to pull you by both feet, and I says, wait a minute, Larry, <laughs> if you pull me by both feet going down Blue Ridge, I said, we're going to have some police involved since I only have one foot. But, oh, it's beautiful. I'm in shock. Yes, I am. I have some, I have six, in about six months, I have some pretty serious surgery coming up again. They're going to do some resectioning on me. And, um, uh, I'll depend on my amateur radio family once more since I have no family. And I just love each one and each and all of you. And this man here, he's been a, he's a good guy. He's been he's been since Dave died, he's been my bestest friend. I can't say enough for Larry Staples or Larry's list. I still love the Ray Tam people. I, I love every single one of them. I really, truly do. I can't go up and down the steps anymore. If I ever get to, I will come back to Raytown, too.
and God bless each of you.